God bless you everyone. My name is David Ewan and hello. I head up the Bravehearted Men's Ministry at the Resurrection Center located in the Indian Orchard area of Springfield. I do this with the permission and the request of my spiritual father, Pastor, Pastor Jose Martinez and my spiritual mother, Pastor Meli Martinez. They are the pastors of the Resurrection Center located in Indian Orchard area of Springfield. Our website is resurrectionspringfield.org, www.resurrectionspringfield.org. We are at TRC413 on social media. That's TRC413 on social media. And our radio station is resurrectioncenterradio.com. And the Bravehearted Men's Ministry is at KTV. KTV is at www.k-tv.us. And we are in the Indian Orchard area of Springfield at 1060 Worcester Street. So let me tell you, in uncertain times, we've all made changes. The government has issued guidelines to follow. And you've seen a lot of changes with churches as well. As instructed by God in Romans chapter 13, verse 1 through 3, we are obedient to our governing bodies and have heeded to those guidelines. As such, the Bravehearted Ministries has moved online, and here we are. Our April 25th Men's Conference is on hold at the moment. We don't have a new date, but it will happen at some time. For now, you can catch up on what you may have missed at the Bravehearted Ministries by going to the K-Radio website shown at the bottom of your screen. From there, select Bravehearted and you'll catch up on the 10 meetings we had last year in the year 2019 from February through November and also the Christmas presentation that was given in December. A lot has happened last year and even more will happen this year. The Bravehearted Men's Ministry has the purpose to bring the men of today to God's calling. He has a purpose for us. Men and women are not the same. The book of Genesis teaches us that. Here's what we basically know from today's language. Men operate by purpose. They do things if there's a purpose to it. That's why men are typically the providers of the family. Women operate by nurturing. That's why they're very good at the nurturing in terms of the family. Okay, so there's a difference. So when I have a men's meeting or a men's conference, I'm speaking to the men because of the way of thinking and the way of operation that men have. Men have a different calling than women. So I speak to the men. Men will do something if it satisfies a self-governing purpose. It's our nature. That's how we're wired. The Bravehearted Men's Ministry speaks of the Holy Spirit-driven guidance to men operating with a purpose. What we do at the Bravehearted is we bring in the Holy Spirit because that's what's missing in a lot of men's lives. That's why a lot of things don't work. So how do we change our ways to be better at becoming the man that God wants us to be? That's a good question. A conviction, a conviction is recognizing we are wrong in a way of thinking. That's what a conviction is. I'll say that again. A conviction is recognizing when we are wrong in a way of thinking. Okay. Repentance Repentance is a change in the way that we are thinking. Okay, so I talked about conviction and repentance. We need to be convicted that our way is not God's way and repent to follow God's way. I'll say that again. We need to be convicted that our way is not God's way and repent to follow God's way. How do we do that? We include the Holy Spirit. That's the purpose of our presentations and meetings. We must have the purpose of following God's will and his guidance through his teachings. 
in Jeremiah 29.11, again, that scripture is Jeremiah 29.11, the scripture reads, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. You see, God makes life easy for us. We don't have to worry about providing for our family. God does that already. That's why we need the Holy Spirit, so that we're aware of that. We must have the purpose of following God's will and his guidance through teachings. God makes life easy for us. We don't have to worry about providing for our family or for ourselves. God does that already. We must pray. Our prayer can be one of conviction and repentance. It can also be a petition for comfort, peace, and joy as given by the Holy Spirit. Begin to seek God. You can learn more by going to KTV. You'll see the website at the bottom of your screen. We'll have more webcasts. We'll have more group meetings. You'll also see what we've done in uh, 2019, last year. Um, there's so much more that we'll be doing this year. Remember, the Resurrection Center has a website, and that's www.resurrectionspringfield.org. We're located at TRC413 on social media. Again, that's TRC413. Our website for the radio station is resurrectioncenterradio.com. See what you've been missing. And the Brave Hearted is located at KTV. And so that is k-tv.us. For the Brave Hearted Men's Ministry, my name is David Ewan, and this is the Resurrection Center.